Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match. I'm in cargo bay. Between Ungern and his vampires and Ploppen and his Skaven. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello. Hello everybody. Here we are, uh, vampires of Ungern. It's okay, vampire team. Decent, and including their fan favorite. Vampire, yeah. there, of his days when he won a chalice. Managed to qualify with a fan favorite, so respect. Versus escaping with an Ati. Yeah. And other players. <laughs> yeah, we've got a tackle pommel there. Could, that could hurt some players, couldn't it? And uh, But yeah, not much except the Natty, to be fair. We've actually got two Natties. We've actually got two Natties. Ridiculous. Okay, well, that's the <laughs> He's not even playing the better one. He should be playing the one with guard and keeping the other one just as the night, shouldn't he? But yeah, mind. I mean, you want you want the guard. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Um, yeah, it's tr tough for tough for for vamps, isn't it? Because they're really slow and like cage breaking, not so effective versus rats that don't really need to. Cage the thing them. is, the snow makes the one turn, you know, the nut is much more difficult. How yeah, sprints, uh... how, sorry, how mental was it moving him first? Like, literally, just... Oh, I guess because he wanted to stand in that particular square. But, like, imagine if he just fails bloodlust there, and he's just like... I guess he bites this one. That's not so bad. Okay, All right, never mind. Never mind. Sorry about that. I just thought that was insane. He's just going to leave a gaping hole if he, uh, if he rolled bloodlust, but, he, you know, he could have been this one. So it was all right. Never mind. Don't mind me. Hello, Ron. Um, at least he's got a lot of tackle, hasn't he? Three tackle, one of the mighty blow. So he's, he's definitely got enough to deal with the gutters, but... Uh, it is tricky for the vamps, this for sure. Like the main, the best at like beating, you know, bash teams by breaking the cage, and versus elves that just out elf them. It's a bit tricky for them. Good job, we have wrestle. Yep. Oh, not shy about activating his vampires, is he? Uh, no, 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 I'm ready to go for a bite. Yeah, shadow dice. Yeah, it does. It does. It does help them out in like one of the worst matchups, I would say. Getting 16 bats with a mighty blow attack is pretty good. Oh, here we go. Fails the down, let's oh, scan. No. Oh. Imagine if he'd had this guard gutter runner, he could have, uh, could have had two dice on that. <laughs> Yes, I mean, we'll be sacrificing the gutter on the mighty blow. Uh, no, he could, he could have put it in there, couldn't he? He could have put it in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, to be fair, he would have still got hit by the mighty blow tackler, but... You know, if he's getting to Pom, might win him the match. None yet, Mengel, none yet. I think Rick runs more short at break. Yeah, maybe I should do that. I don't know whether I have fewer big... I could do a poll and then if anyone cares, they could answer. I don't know if it's better to do, like, you know, fewer longer ads or many short ads. I think uh, maybe before the game... Uh, Half time and then uh, you can't after time the them game. Like that. You can't time them like oh, that. Alright, alright. Right. So, so there is no double done for ads now? No, no. Like it, with, with the ad incentive, you just like choose a schedule and then they play. And you can add you can add extra adverts in if you want. But, um. But. But like, you just, you just choose a schedule for your ads and then they stick it. You were longer for red hair. I I Next time you see anyone with a Mitsuishi, you know what's gonna be. <laughs> you know they're a wanker. 
No, que ya es algo de for the viewers de Mitsubishi Pajero, which in Spanish means literal wanker. <laughs> oh, well, now he gets 2D and does nothing to him. He's getting a bit shit dice here, isn't he? Yes, he's not a... Uh... And he can't rely too much on the Nati because of the snow. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a lot of rolls that are not uh, too plus anymore. And the bumps are uh, powerful, oh, that's a dead rat. Yep. Yep, two cars already for Ungern. Pretty good. Pretty standard. Yeah, pretty good. Standard for run gun, good for a normal yes. person. <laughs> One KO, two uh, cast, pretty standard for Unger. Wait, wait, wait a second, could be another cast for Unger. <laughs> there you go. The fourth removal he was looking for. I think we're gonna see a foul. Hmm. It just looks like it, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, there we go. Look, just the the Zon player should have rolled like Ungern, right? <laughs> oof, oof, I used cast. the apple there. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's uh, one of his two tacklers, so. Yep. Instant oh, he has three, he has three, he has three, but the other one is a gutter runner and uh, gutters versus vampires, bad business. Mm -hmm. is, is he going? Yes, he's going with the street ball. I was thinking about that. You have a street ball. Uh, Wrestling, you can go red dice. Oh my god, triple wow, red. I mean, three red dice is a little extreme. Gets him though, gets the ball. Unfortunately, there's no other rats left. To... Well, okay, there's a lino. Go on, double GFI in the snow. Go on, lad! Oh, Jesus. dice. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and the problem wow. for the the problem for the rats is obviously without like if they'd had an ad, if they had a gut to go and get it and like punt it they'd have been all right but now the bombs can just get it straight back, can't they? I think that was the play. Pick up with the line of rat and just uh, punt it. Uh, it's a short pass anyway. Yeah, true. Yeah, you can't even put it that far in, in the snow. Oh wait a second. Oh, okay, okay. There's the knockdown. I guess you can try the uh, the two D uphill next turn. Uh, yes. If he survives. I like this two D him. Oh, okay, no, I don't like this. You can three D anyway. Yeah. Do it. Okay, now you just do you just foul him? Yeah, I guess you do, right? Rather than hitting the other one. Yes, you, just you have the dirty player there. Try to gaze him for an extra assist. Meanwhile, another KO. Yeah, Melanie. I hate it too, seeing as the other one is just a nine, right? The other one is just a nine. So, so why not just play the guy with guard from the start? Huge foul. Nista. Dice it. Yep. Well, now he hasn't really got any player, has he? Just lies down. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's... Uh, just keep eating uh, fouls. Play... Uh, play for doubles. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. 
T-A-Y-T-O. Thank you very much. Oh, he fell the wrong one. Did he misclick? <laughs> um, thank you very much, Papa Pikio, for staying fantastic for 52 glorious months. Oh yeah. Why didn't he foul this one? What, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, wait. Big mistake, he should have dodged away with the, the gutter. Yeah, this goes because it's just running away. It's also a two plus, so. Yeah, that's a good point, shot dice. Like, foul the nut if he's only got one, but he's got two, so it doesn't even matter fouling the nut, does it? That's the problem. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that was it, yeah, the space cadet, yeah, yeah, it's actually a fair shot. Because it was Lords, wasn't it? But I mean, there was a lot. But still, there was a chance, right? There was a chance. I think you probably have to go for the chance. Powerful Faulus here, no, no doubles of any kind. Here we go. Oh my god, got him! Oh, really got him. Apple works, Apple works. Wow. Okay, that's much better than trying to hit the ball, wasn't it? <laughs> that was much better than trying to hit the ball. Easy drive for Ungo. Uh, uh, I think like the offensive drive can be pretty tricky for Vance, right? The, all the uh, you know, having to protect the ball, trying to grind the clock down, and with all of the uh, woodlust and everything. So really nice half. But it might be all for naught if we have the uh, instant. Yeah, the weather changes. If the weather changes. I mean, even if the weather's in change, it, it's still like, it's still, it's still good odds, isn't it? It's obviously it's a lot worse, but it's still, it's still decent. But yeah, you can you'll be able to get one or two pushes easily anyway. You would expect. And yeah, yeah. You, you have a off. lot of, you have a lot of uh, ways of getting the pushes. Yeah, he's got, he's got to try for the pushes, especially as he's got two, so he can just say, oh, actually, there, there was only two goes. There's the one who only two goes, so he can't. You can't have a backup plan, yes, actually. Did you only have the three gutters? Yeah, they still must seem better days. Oh my god, there was only three gutters. Oh god, well, benching one was even worse then, wasn't it, on defense? Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, there's no way you should have benched one on defense. I don't think he's even trying to uh, get a push here, is he? That's that's terrible. Okay, yes. it's not terrible. He is, he is, he is. I mean, uh, this setup is a. Uh... I'll, I'll tell you what, though, it was still terrible. I'll I'll t t tell you why as well. If this is a pow, you can't get another hit, right? So you should yep. have blitzed, you should have blitzed this one. So that he could have then hit from this angle to get no if it was a power he could have got another hit by each hitting from here so that this was definitely wrong here by the way just so you know <laughs> and there you go there you see why if he would have had an extra hit now. but he doesn't get the extra push that he could have got had he done it correctly Just quite well. It's it's suboptimal, isn't it? Suboptimal is maybe a better thing to say than shit and wrong. He has to go through at least one tackler. Okay. No good. problems. There you go. Disgusting rats doing disgusting things. Yeah. Well, there you go. Not punished for the unnecessary three plus though. Yeah. Not saying the nut is a high skill, but they aren't as simple as quick right quick and so on. He's yeah, got tackle on every square. You follow the plan. You follow the plan. 
<laughs> he's got tackle around Yeah, there's a lot of tackle he's got, isn't he? He's got a lot of tackles. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Doug. Okay. That's a that's a fair request. The Minecraft one or my real one? <laughs> the difference nowadays. There is a difference nowadays. <laughs> Either's better than looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> Now comes when the vampires are the true powerhouses, defense also with a lot of tackles, so the rats are gonna have a rough time. Yeah, yeah, this is this is this is looking pretty decent for the uh, for the wamps. Well, we can see that the the wrestle tackler or the guard, the thrall are getting punched in the face. Oh. Ooh. Like it's one one, but you know they, they, they've only got two gutters, so it's... they're not really a saving team. Are they? With only two gutters. Why are you picking up with that one instead of the other one? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, it's a better one tunnel because it has a sure fit. Yeah. But you're not going to one turn now. I guess he's like he's got a guard in case he uh, in case he has to hit hit off somebody, and you know this is the one he wants to protect the most. So I guess just give him the ball. But I think he just had to play on defense. I think the worst thing is not playing on defense. He had to play on defense. It's quite good, isn't it? Because it like takes away their actions for the turn. Like they've just got to activate yeah. him. And, and this one, like who might be dodging out at the end of the day, now he's just probably just got to activate him and just to get the tackles on back. But he doesn't yet. Oh, again, one day. It's the pal. Pal on? Yes, you have to. Yeah, he's got to get back into this. So. Oh, Ooh, that works. That's it. No apple. No apple. That Iranian fail. Oh, oh, that's massive. Huge. Yeah, really nice player to get rid of. Might go tackle. Yes, I think I also think the bumps uh, over I mean, when, you know, the strength uh, of the bumps is that in defense, most of the time, they don't even need to move, you know, to be, uh, yeah, and I'm going to say nah. Yeah, the, pro the problem is if he just stalls around, like, that's playing in this given strength, isn't it? So I understand wanting to base up and try and try and make something happen. And to be fair, he's going to get a foul. He's going to get a foul with Plummer here, isn't he? It could be a very big foul as well. Again, yes, he has to do the foul because that's the player, obviously the most dangerous player uh, he has for his uh, vamps. Yeah. yeah, exactly, you'd look at it. It was kind of crazy, kind of crazy, Benjamin. <laughs> Fair enough, dude. <laughs> There were some funny comments on the YouTube about that already. 
No. Uses a reroll. That's interesting, isn't it? He's very committed to, to the foul. Yeah, maybe he's just done the foul. Also, first. I don't like I don't like the order he did that. You know, I prefer to do the to do the first to do with the throw, and then you know you get the free bump to move or do whatever you want with him. Oof. See, I think he, I think he rerolled because he really wanted the foul. Yeah, that's but it. Like... That's it. I mean, there is the, that's the only reason. <laughs> yeah, but there's a good chance of this going over. Like, well, for him to win, there's a good chance that he has to do this in overtime. You know, like it's one-one, right? Okay, he might win two-one in normal time, but he he might also just just stall it out. You know, get one-one, then get overtime. So there's a very real chance of him only having two more rerolls for the end, you know, for another half. So I think that was real bad. Like, if he wanted the foul, he should have done the foul first. I think, or just eating that dub skull. Well, one in nine, wasn't it? Yeah. A little recovery from the rats, but still. Almost a chimney. Nice armor break, especially now that he can uh, foul anymore because not worth it. Mm. Well, he has a ton of bench, so yeah, maybe you know some random thrall. Okay, here's the here's the overcommit if there is one. Waxing both wamps up the pitch. Two out of three wamps. Forward, so you've kind of got to try and scoot past them now. And I think that's exactly what he's going to do. Mm. Big, big block here. Gets the power, gets the AV break, huge. The problem is by going down this side, which like, you know, is where all his players are, it means that he's got to go near the extra vamp, hasn't he? I wonder if he could have tried to have got the ball over here somehow. Maybe not. Yeah, he's just ran. He just. I mean, okay, he got lucky. He just ran straight into the rackle hit, didn't he? Like if that if that gaze works, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI into a rackle. Like, yeah. It was still one, two, three, four, five, six. G. Like so, it was three, two, two. Anyways, afterwards, but he. Takes him back to be a safety, nice. Maybe he's gonna go another vampire here. Four, four with a reroll in the two D. Yeah, he is, isn't he? It works. Another reroll gone. Oh boy. Boy, howdy. Oh, that's a. Very good scatter for the rats. <laughs> God. Just got a couple of squares. Yeah, Roosh head feels terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> and here comes the blitz. It's the pow. Instant full pow. The edge five comes back. Oh, oh. Um, eh. he did not sidestep. That seems very terrible. <laughs> I think you have to go one forward, right? You have to go. I guess they yeah, might get the chain, but still. But yeah, I mean, he was easily gazed into King Surf there. Like, it hasn't yes. happened, but it really could have been. 
I don't like that follow. Mm. Well, it stops him two plusing off, doesn't it? Well, I guess the rats can turn the corner now. They can roll some three pluses and make it really nice as well. Really nice. I think this is a complete and absolutely so full commitment to the left side of the pitch. Yeah, isn't it? Just, just quietly. Try to get out of range of the edge 5 is pretty cool. Yeah. Just get out of range of the vamps, so that's really nice actually. Oh, he sides up the wrong player. Wow. Wow. That side step wasn't the right uh, square. I think, in my humble opinion. Yeah, I think you want to go near the ball, don't you? I guess it, I guess you couldn't get in range anyway, but it would have stopped him getting hit again for sure. I guess if he goes there, then he gets two deed. Whereas, like, cause he's still not in range, right? But then he could have maybe chained him if he was there. Maybe. Because this guy isn't in range. He can't fucking pick me. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So he. Even if he'd sidestep up, he wouldn't have got in range. But, um. I still, I, think, I still think I would have wanted to. Yes, yes, at least, you know, to put at least some degree of pressure there. Yeah. Because if the rats want to stall until uh, time 16. Oh my god, last reroll. Anger, absolutely madman. Well, there you go. Well, it was a rat. He just had the rattle. Yeah, he just had the rattle hit. Fair enough. So yeah, down to zero reels, and he could have easily had two. I think. If he'd been a bit I more mean, conservative. Is it worse than a, you know, a hit? But okay. Imagine the rat goes the rat goes on the ground. Chances are it's not gonna be an armor break, so yes, it gets up and pick up the ball again. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem, like even if he pals him, what does it matter? Yeah, I mean you need the armor break. Mm. So like even if you break armor, the other one just two pluses out and picks it up and yep. you know, you've got it you've got to power him and pick it up, haven't you? At the same time. I mean, this has to be a reroll now. Oh. I think you have to reroll things to give yourself a better chance of scoring, and, like, you know, in the, unless he doesn't even need it. But even if he does need it, you might as well just reroll anyway, because it saves you an armor break. You've got three rerolls, right? Yep. <laughs> and the game is. Uh... I mean, is the vamp in range? No, he can't hit him. So he can only base? Yep. He can gaze, yeah. But I mean, still basing, isn't it? Better than nothing, makes it a, a 3 plus. Yep. One in nine. Yeah, but yes, this dodge, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could have gone him to here, right, if he made that dodge. And then it would have been harder to get through. I think you have to reroll that with three rerolls. Can't get better, better than a three plus now, can you? Kind of hit making a run, like you know. So the fact he's making that dodge makes it means he's thinking about overtime, right? But he's making that punch. So if you think about overtime, I don't know. I still think you just want to reroll that dodge to make make more chance of winning in in normal time. I think it's worth it. Trying to protect himself a little from the failed state. No need for it. Mm. Get it. Well, the vamps need a need a riot, pretty much. Yes, 
They don't have any movement seven piece. I mean, as it happens, he hasn't bit him in the ass. He's still got all three rerolls and Ungun's got none. But I don't know, I feel like he should have. I think he should have put in extra dice rolls. Like, you know, putting the reroll there to really secure the winning all the time because. Like, also, the player could have died as well. There's an element of that, but I think mostly. I think it's got to be worth your added chance of winning in, uh, in normal time. You know, it's worth the reduced chance in all the time. Yep, and it seems that the uh, Forungar is not coming home. It doesn't look like it, does it? Yeah, he's, uh, that's the name of his uh, uh, team in English and French. They're a mixture of cultures. Yeah. We know that because uh, Dimi G, the uh, man that's been living all over Europe for years, uh, told us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it's coming home how football came home for England in not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Well, the women won the Euro, no? Yeah, they did, yeah. So did the under-19s. No one mentioned that, funnily enough. But yeah. Yeah, it did start off with Vance and it just... It, like, it's stupid, because even at 1-1, I still thought, on defense, I thought the Vans still had a lot of chances. You know, only two gutters, but, uh... But I think uh, the Skaven uh, player has a few mistakes. Not brutal. Had good luck with the dice, had uh, some key removals. Yeah. And Unger at some point over, maybe, maybe, maybe over committed a little too much trying to catch the gutters. Yeah, I think maybe he should just set up one vampire there when he set up the two. I think he should just yes. set one up. Because he only had three vamps, didn't he? So, you know, have one mid or two mid on either side and then one forward, like, rather than just getting two up, two up like that. Okay, it did force the hand of Plotten, but also it didn't really cause a lot of problems, did it? Like, I, I do that too, you know, like, you think I've got to make something happen here, and then if it's not that hard to deal with, then you've just, okay, you've made them do something, but they're probably going to succeed at it, so it's not really that good that you've made yep. them do it. Um, 22 armor breaks for Ungar, just the standard. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, a lot of those are his own players, right? They're lots of, they, they count fail the bloodlusts in, in that. Um, so, yeah. It's still armor breaks, it's still armor breaks, you know. Uh... That's true, that's true. Standard Ungarn match. Uh, there you go. Commiserations, Ungarn. Congratulations, Ploppen. Thank you very much for me. As always, absolutely glorious. Our pleasure to be here. And now, this is what's the next round? Is the quarterfinals the next round? Yeah, it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Glorious. No Amazons. <laughs> Amazons will never win, shall it? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.